Hello and what is up everyone, Norman from Future Studio University here and welcome to another video in our Android Studio series. Today we're going to talk about one of the most asked questions on my videos and that is why does your font look so weird sometimes. Let's get into it. Now if you didn't know what I was talking about in the info, let me give you an example. So if I write if statements, um, I could write something like true does not equal false. Now the statement doesn't make any sense, but what you should pay attention is to this little symbol here in the middle. And this is not what you would expect, because you would expect that it's something like the exclamation mark and then the regular um, equal sign. But as soon as I move this together, Android Studio replaces it with this special sign. And I like doing that, I like having this feature enabled, because it makes much more clear what it's going on. And it has a bunch of these um, little special signs because this one is much more obvious than the standard equals um, or not or exclamation mark equals sign. Because here you have to think for a moment, well, we have two um, symbols here. What does it exactly mean? While this one is just one symbol and it's really easy to understand. So reducing the cognitive load um, for yourself and understanding the code. Before I give you more examples, um, let me show you the trick behind this. And the trick behind this is actually um, called Fiverr Code. So it's a special font. That actually comes packaged with all Android Studio versions since the last year or so. And it offers you the special signals or the special symbols um, right here you see this would be the traditional way of displaying it and Fiverr code makes it to one merged um, symbol really easy to um, understand. So if you want to activate it no matter what kind of ID you have head over to this GitHub page. I will leave the link in the description below. Um, in Android Studio it's actually really simple. You just go to preferences and then you go to the editor colors and fonts, font, and make sure you have this enabled. And then you check the primary font must be Fiverr code. And that's everything you have to do. So as soon as you have activated these two things, you will notice that Fiverr code replaces um, the special symbols um, with, their, with their symbols. So for example, if I want to write the HTML code, as soon as I add the second dash here, it will change it to this uh, nice looking symbol. And it does that with all kinds of arrows. So if I want to like an arrow looks nice. Um, even if I do a curly arrow like this, it will merge it into one symbol. And there's, it's a very subtle thing. So if I want to give you another example, let's say I want to do true or false. Notice how the little vertical lines here merge together. They're not um, separate how you would expect them to be. As soon as they do this, they get a little smaller and they're really tied together, making it look like it's one um, sign. Now Java doesn't have that many symbols, but a couple more I want to show you are the comments. So for example, this one, notice how it merges together and gets a little bit smaller. Um, the same as with just one line comments and also the three. Um, it makes it look a little bit more tight, a little bit more like, oh, this is a comment um, and not just uh, two um, forward slashes. So I would suggest you head over to your Android Studio right now, enable Fiverr code and try if you like these little symbols. Believe me, they make it easier to understand um, what's going on in your code, even if it's just a very subtle thing. If you enjoyed this tip, leave a like on this video Subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future and enjoy coding, make it work.